Hello, I'm Alexander. No, I'm not Alexander, I'm Alex. <laughs> this is going to take a long time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex Torronegra. I'm a serial entrepreneur who specializes in online marketplaces. A few years ago, my wife and I created the first online casting service for voiceovers. Today we have more than 100,000 voice actors and we have processed more than 3 million auditions. As I learned about the voiceover industry, of course, I became obsessed with the potential of the human voice. And as we created an API to get real human voices, I also realized that we are going back to the future, uh, where audio becomes one of the main information channels for people. Why going back to the future? Because we had newspapers, then came radio, then came TV, then came the internet. But I think that we are going back to audio. So why is audio coming back? Because people cannot watch videos or read the news when they are walking, cooking, exercising, driving, etc. And they might do it in some cases uh, in their smartphone devices when they have a chance or their Google Glass. But it's not necessarily the best experience. So if they had, if that content that was written had an audible version of it, something that you could listen to, a lot of people would actually do it. And that's why you see today apps like Stitcher and Podcast within the iOS and Antenna and many others, including apps within dashboards of the new cards that are coming out, are becoming popular and growing like crazy. So what do bloggers, publishers and content creators have to do in order to write this new web? Well, that's what I'm going to be explaining on my talk. What to keep into account, how to create content out of existing materials, what's affordable, what's not, what are the best practices, and probably most important, uh, what is it going to happen to you if you don't end up writing this new web? I look forward to seeing you there, so please make sure you vote. Thank you.